name is Fo, and I want to super quick film a video about citrus free and coconut free products. Um, it is already getting dark and it is really four o'clock. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, but yeah, I have some citrus free products. I actually contacted the company with these first products and they let me know that their products are citrus free. So Elodia Hair Care, everything except their Black Soap Wash. Alafia, their Repair and Restore line. Their Coconut Reshi line. Their Everyday Purely Coconut. And their Neem and Turmeric Shampoo are citrus free. Obia Naturals, everything that they have is citrus free. Urban Hydration, the line that they currently have out, that Honey Repair line is citrus free. Crea Bons Korea Botanicals, their low porosity line. Kadima Organic Beauty Products. Long 8 Naturals, everything except the mask and the cleanse. Curly Coily Tresses. And the Trey Lux Conditioning and Styling Products. Okay, and now these next products that I'm going to name. I haven't heard back from the company yet. Um, it was taking a little bit longer than expected. But I feel like it was really important for me to just get this information out there. So TGIM, it looks like all their products except their cleansers list citrus, um, but citrus can be a part of fragrance, citrus could be an unlisted ingredient, so there's still that possibility, but it looks like TGIM, all their products except their cleansers are citrus free, looks like, might not be. The Curl Mix Shampoo, the fragrance free one, the Myel Custard, Miel Custard, you know what I'm talking about? Not 100% percent. I can't talk today, y'all. Percent sure about how to pronounce it, but yeah. The Icy Fantasia Hair Gel with Sparkling Lights and the Hydra Curl Former Gel. So if I had to build a routine with all these products, I would go with the Curl Mix Shampoo as my all-purpose shampoo. So a shampoo I can use every seven days, or every other week um, is my more clarifying shampoo. And I would go with the Elodia shampoo as my moisturizing shampoo if I want to use that before the five day mark. I mean, excuse me, before the seven day mark. Um, I would go with the Trilux conditioner and the Trilux styler um, as my stylers because the, the Trilux conditioner is also a leave-in conditioner. Um, so it's multi-purpose, it's a rinse out and a leave-in. And the Trilux styler. Um, but alternatively, I would go with the Obia, with an Obia conditioner, an Obia curl cream, and an Obia custard. Um, the only thing that gets me about these products is I'm not 100% sure if the ingredients in these products can be fully removed by the shampoo that I'm proposing, like Curl Mix or Elodia. So that's something I would watch out for, um, to try to make sure that I don't get product buildup. But... I would say that these companies are in a similar vein in terms of their products. Obia does have a bit more oil, so I would just keep a watch out for that and, and product buildup if I were to use um, these products. And they're all quality lines too, so it's not like I'll be scared of like my hair falling out or being damaged or being dry or anything like that. Curl Mix, Elodia, Trelux, Obia, they're quality product lines. So there's that. And um, also, so for Coconut Free, there's a Clean Kids Naturally line. And with Clean Kids Naturally, the only thing about them is I don't quite understand their shampoo. Like, I don't understand what the cleansing ingredient in their shampoo is. That's the only thing about Clean Kids Naturally. Um, Uncle Funky's Daughter, it doesn't appear to have any coconut. Um, contact the company. Giovanni LA Holding Styling Gel doesn't appear to have any coconut. Contact the company. The Kinky Curly Custard itself um, doesn't appear to have any coconut. The not today, it might have some because I saw some fatty alcohols in there. But the Kinky Curly um, Curling Custard, I hope I'm saying this right, doesn't appear to have coconut. But contact the company. I could be wrong. Um, so. Yeah, because, you know, coconut can show up in, like, fatty alcohols, like, acetyl alcohol can show up in glycerin. I'm not sure if I already said this, but it's great to just reemphasize. Um, it can show up in anything with the prefix coca, 
like cocoa vanilla purple betaine. So yeah, this video is just to, um, I'm not necessarily saying that these lines or these products that I'm recommending are all quality. Um, what I'm hoping to do is just to give people with citrus or coconut allergies a pool to, to, to pull from. <laughs> I didn't know what else to say, but just a pool of products to be able to grab things from and ask that, ask their doctor, ask the company, does this look like a great idea? Um, as opposed to just being in the dark and just going through hundreds and hundreds of products. Hopefully I gave a good um, pool of products for people to select from, from all their various, for all their various styling needs. Um, so they're not just in the dark because they have an allergy. Um, but yeah, I hope this was helpful. Uh, my name is Fo, and I hope to see you back here.